Pennsylvania CDL air brakes test. Question 1. Why must air tanks be drained? To drain all the air out of the tank. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 2. The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 3. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed gas. Compressed hair. Compressed oil. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 4. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. As little as possible. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 5. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Never do it without downshifting first. Answer. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 6. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The emergency relay valve. The tractor protection valve. The one-way check valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 7. To test the air leakage rate you should Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Answer. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 8. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 9. What is another name for controlled braking? Steady braking. Hard braking. Squeeze braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 10. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch.
park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake pedal. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 11. The air compressor governor controls. Air pressure applied to the brakes. Speed of the air compressor. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 12. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Answer. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 13. The S-CAM Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 14. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Fluid air spring answer spring question 15 the brake chamber fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the which twists the slack adjuster and tie rod brake camshaft and tie rod Slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Answer. Slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Question 16. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. Once a week. After every working day. Answer. After every working day. Question 17. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Never. If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. Answer. Never. Question 18. The most common type of foundation break found on heavy vehicles is the Disc drum, S cam drum, wedge drum. Answer S cam drum. Question 19 The S cam forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. 
controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 20. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, linings are pressed against the Slack adjuster S cam Brake drum Answer Brake drum Question 21. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 22. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 23. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 24. Under normal conditions in order to engage the parking brakes the driver must first Let the air out of the spring brakes Turn off the engine Be sure air brakes system is fully pressurized Answer Let the air out of the spring brakes Question 25. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended As little as possible Only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections Answer Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended Question 26. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed gas Compressed oil Compressed hair Answer Compressed hair Question 27. The brake pedal in an air brake system Control the speed of the air compressor Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Question 28 the S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. 
It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter S. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 29. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is going to the brake chambers. It's in the air tanks you have used in this trip. Answer. It's in the air tanks. Question 30. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 31. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? More than 300 feet. From 100 to 250 feet less than 100 feet answer more than 300 feet question 32 if the air compressor should develop a leak what keeps the air in the tanks the emergency relay valve the tractor protection valve the one-way check valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 33. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air supply pressure gauge. A backup hydraulic system. An air use gauge. Answer. An air supply pressure gauge. Question 34. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 150. 75. 125. Answer. 125 Question 35 What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Not pressing the brake pedal hard enough. Not taking your foot off the accelerator. Answer. Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Question 36. Why must air tanks be drained? To drain moisture and oil out of tank. To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 37. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake metal. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes. Pull hard on each slack adjuster. 
it shouldn't move more than one inch. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 38, Controlled Braking Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 39. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? After every four hours of service. Once a week. At the end of each day of driving. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 40. The brake pedal in an air brake system Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages Control the speed of the air compressor Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Question 41. What are the slack adjusters? It is an adjusting nut on that the backside of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. It is the space between the back wheels. Answer. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 42. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter Z. It is shaped like the letter S. Answer It is shaped like the letter S. Question 43. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 30 35 25 Answer 35 Question 44 For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 125 100 150 Answer 100 Question 45 The service brake applies and releases In the event of an emergency The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving the parking brake when you use the parking brake control. Answer The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 46. If oil and water collects in the air tanks what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. The brakes could heat up. 
Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 47. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake metal. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 48. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Air pressure Spring pressure Hydraulic pressure Answer Spring pressure Question 49. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 65 feet. 32 feet. 45 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 50. The driver must be able to see a low-pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 60 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 51. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed hair. Compressed oil. Compressed gas. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 52. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The emergency relay valve. The one-way check valve. The tractor protection valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 53. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 54. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended, as little as possible. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended, Question 55. If you must make an emergency stop, brake so you Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. 
can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Answer Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 56. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 57. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used to hold your speed when going downhill. Anytime the vehicle is parked, as little as possible. Answer. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Question 58. The emergency brake system uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 59. Controlled braking Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time can be used while you are turning sharply. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 60. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air Brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 61. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Change the alcohol from a new bottle. Check the oil for alcohol content. Check and fill the alcohol level. Answer Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 62 the spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20 100 60 Answer 20 Question 63 the air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds Answer 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Question 64. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure 
is going to the break chambers. You have used in this trip is in the air tanks. Answer is in the air tanks. Question 65. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Wedge drum S-cam drum Disc drum Answer S-cam drum Question 66 the S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter S. Answer It is shaped like the letter S. Question 67. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Spring. Fluid. Air. Answer. Spring. Question 68. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 69. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20. 60. 100. Answer 20. Question 70. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time, your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Answer. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 71. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Springs Bolts and braces Air pressure Answer. Air pressure. Question 72. The S cam forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum, controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers, pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 73. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air supply pressure gauge A backup hydraulic system An air use gauge Answer an air supply pressure gauge. 
Question 74. The proper method of braking when going down a long and, or steep grades after selecting the proper gear, is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 15 10 5 Answer 5 Question 75. To make an emergency stop with your brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 76 Which is the first thing you should do when a low air pressure warning comes on? Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Downshift. Upshift. Answer. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 77. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. After every working day. Once a week. Answer. After every working day. Question 78. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 60 20 45 Answer 45 Question 79. The brake pedal in an air brake system. Control the speed of the air compressor. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Answer. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 80. You should know that your brakes are fading when The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 81. To test the air service brakes you should Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 82. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 
35 30 25 Answer 35 Question 83. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Only on the slippery road. Never. Only when driving downhill. Answer. Never. Question 84. To check the brake slack adjusters on S-cam brakes you should park on. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 85. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 45 feet. 32 feet. 65 feet. Answer 32 feet. Question 86. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is in the air tanks, is going to the brake chambers you have used in this trip. Answer is in the air tanks. Question 87. The air compressor governor controls. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks, air pressure applied to the brakes, the speed of the air compressor. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 88. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 89 if oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could lock up. The brakes could heat up. The brakes could fail. Answer The brakes could fail. Question 90 Controlled braking can be used while you are turning sharply. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 91 the brake pedal in an air brake system is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Control the speed of the air compressor. 
Answer. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 92. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Never do it without downshifting first. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 93. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Check the oil for alcohol content. Check and fill the alcohol level. Change the alcohol from a new bottle. Answer Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 94. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Air pressure Bolts and braces Springs Answer Air pressure Question 95. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 96. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on level ground. Turn off parking brakes and press brake pedal. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 97 if the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The emergency relay valve. The one-way check valve. The tractor protection valve. Answer The one-way check valve. Question 98 Emergency control braking is when you Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 99. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 100 60 20 Answer 20 Question 100 When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, 
Linings are pressed against the S cam Slack adjuster Brake drum Answer Brake drum Question 101 a slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One half inch, one fourth inch, one inch. Answer One inch. Question 102. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 103. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 104 When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. If you are conducting your pre trip inspection. Never. Answer. Never. Question 105. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 60 20 45 Answer 45 Question 106 What is a dual error brake system? A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. Answer A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 107 Emergency control braking is when you Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. 
Question 108. To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes you should park on. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 109. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is going to the brake chambers you have used in this trip is in the air tanks. Answer is in the air tanks. Question 110. The air compressor governor controls the speed of the air compressor. Air pressure applied to the brakes when air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Answer when air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 111. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 112 The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency, the brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving, the parking brake when you use the parking brake control. Answer The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 113. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Never do it without downshifting first. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Answer if the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 114. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air supply pressure gauge An air use gauge A backup hydraulic system Answer an air supply pressure gauge. Question 115. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake metal. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 116 What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed hair. Compressed gas. 
Compressed oil. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 117. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20. 60. 100. Answer. 20. Question 118. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Compressed air is let go out of the system. Answer. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 119. The braking power of the spring brakes is not affected by the condition of the service brakes. Increases when the service brakes are hot. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Answer. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Question 120. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake metal. Answer. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 121. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Disc drum S-cam drum Wedge drum Answer. S-cam drum. Question 122. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. To have a drink available if you get thirsty. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 123. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20. 100. Answer. 20. Question 124. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 30. 35. 25. Answer. 35. Question 125. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes to 2. Distance. Reaction distance. Effective braking. Brake lag. Answer. Brake lag. 
Question 126. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked. Put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 127. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Spring. Fluid. Air. Answer. Spring. Question 128. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 60 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 129. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? More than 300 feet. Less than 100 feet. From 100 to 250 feet. Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 130. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Air pressure. Hydraulic pressure. Spring pressure. Answer. Spring pressure. Question 131. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 60. 45. 20. Answer. 45. Question 132. You should know that your brakes are fading when The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 133. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. One half, one fourth, five sixteenths. Answer One half. Question 134. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause. Modulated control valve to wear out. Brake linings to split up. Brake fade or failure. 
Answer. Break fate or failure. Question 135. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is in the air tanks. Is going to the brake chambers. You have used in this trip. Answer. Is in the air tanks. Question 136. The S cam controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 137. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 138 The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 60. 100. 20. Answer. 20. Question 139. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than one pound per square inch in one minute. Three pounds per square inch in one minute. Two pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. Answer. Three pounds per square inch in one minute. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.